What's up guys, it's your boy, Cyan Dragon, back at it again with yet another energy drink review video. And in this video, I'm going to be reviewing a drink that I meant to review a while ago, but I just haven't got to it until now. Does that make sense? Is that I think the proper way of saying that is, I haven't gotten to it until now. But either way, this isn't grammar class, this is an energy drink review video. And you already know what drink I'm going to be reviewing based off of the thumbnail and title, but I gotta do the big reveal, I just gotta. I'm going to be reviewing G Fuel, the PewDiePie edition. How's it going bros, my name is PewDiePie. I've been procrastinating on making this video for so long that this drink is about a month out of date, so that's great. Hopefully I don't get any parasitic infections from drinking this drink, but with that said, hopefully you guys enjoy this video, if you do, smash the like button, and comment down below what your thoughts are on G Fuel. Do you think it's an epic energy drink company, or do you think it's absolute trash? Or do you just don't care either way, that, that's, that's fine too, I guess. Anyways, let's get right into it. So, this is what the can looks like, you already saw it, it has a nice red and black color scheme. I actually really like this design a lot. And then we got PewDiePie over here. And if I show you the can up close, you can see that PewDiePie is holding some berries. And since PewDiePie is... Is he Swedish? I think he's Swedish. Seeing that PewDiePie is Swedish, those berries, they're like the berries you see at Ikea. Like, at the food court in the Ikea. I don't remember what kind of berry it's called. Is it like a goji berry? Or like a... Some foreign Scandinavian sounding word? It's on the screen right now. I can't pronounce that. I'm not from Scandinavia. Do I look like... Okay, well I am white. But do I look like a white blonde boy with blue eyes? Do I? Are my eyes blue? No, they're the color of shit. But anyway, <laughs> that's beside the point. Just like all the other G Fuels I reviewed in the past, this drink is a zero calorie drink. It has zero grams of fat, 60 milligrams of sodium, zero grams of carbs, zero grams of sugar, and zero grams of protein, as well as 300 milligrams of caffeine in one can. So yeah, I might be staying up all night. And I don't feel like going over the ingredients list because it's kind of long, so I'll just pop it up on screen right now. You can pause the video if you're interested in that. I, I don't really care either way. Let's not waste any time. Let's get to this review. Like always, I have this glass cup here. We're going to be pouring the drink into this and uh, drinking it out of the cup because I'm unique like that. So let's crack this bad boy open. I swear, if I pour this into the cup and there's like mold or some shit on this drink... I'm canceling the review. I'm not drinking mold. Ooh, I can hear the bubbliness. I don't know if it's coming up on microphone very well, but... Can you guys hear that? Anyway, let's pour it and see if it looks red. Okay. It does not look... Wow, it's very bubbly. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but it is very... Very sparkly. Very sparkly. It's like a firecracker on the 4th of July. Does it have a smell? <laughs> yeah, it smells kind of berry-like. <laughs> and by the looks of it, there's no mold in the drink. Doesn't look like there are any spiders crawling in the beverage either, so we're safe there. If you guys have seen my other energy drink review videos in the past, you would know that I am not really a fan of these zero sugar, zero calorie drinks, but... Who knows, maybe this one might be a game changer, let's see. G Fuel PewDiePie Edition, down the hatch. I'm not gonna lie, after trying it, I don't know if it's because it's a month past its expiration date, or what, but... I'm a little bit over, not overwhelmed, underwhelmed. The flavor isn't really in your face. There's no bad aftertaste. It's just meh, if I'm being honest, it's, it's meh. I was expecting there to be a real burst of energy, or 
not burst of energy, excuse me, a burst of flavor. But, yeah, I'm not really getting that, I don't know. To be fair, I don't hate it. It's not the worst in the world. From what flavor I can detect, it's actually not terrible. I like the berry aspect. Berries are good in general. On the scale of 1 to 10, 1 being absolute trash, garbage, throw it away, light it on fire, just get rid of it, dispose of it, and 10 is like, this is the best energy drink on the market today. I would say this is like a 5.5. Not exactly in the middle, a little bit better, but yeah, I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it. I don't know. Maybe I should have tried this before, like, it expired, but I don't know. Maybe I should do a follow-up video in a few weeks or months retrying this drink. I mean, it says on the can that it's a limited edition. I don't know how well it comes up on camera, but I've seen it in stores, and I've gotten this, like, over a year ago at this point, I think. So... I don't know, maybe if I can get my hands on it again, I'll do a re- re-review? Excuse me. I'll do a re-review before it's expired, and see how it is then, see if there's any difference. But for now, my final thoughts, it's- it's pretty mid, honestly. Sorry PewDiePie, but your- your drink, it's- it's not all it's cracked up to be. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, like I mentioned in the beginning, smash like and comment down below any other g fuel flavors or any other energy drinks or drinks in general or food in general snacks whatever you want me to review next and i'm gonna try my best to do it anyways this has been your boy cyan dragon i appreciate you if you watch this video all the way to the end you're real giga chad for that and until next time i'm out bye